Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 23486. This build has a few interesting improvements and changes and also fixes that we're going to talk about in this video. And of course, if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is doing some passwordless improvements. So Pass keys will allow you to replace passwords when you sign into a website or application that supports them. Microsoft, of course, is doing an in-depth analysis of that in their official article from their blog post. And you should also notice some new options inside settings, accounts, and then pass key settings. This will allow you basically to create pass keys and use the pass keys that you saved on the device to sign in into apps and websites without a password. If you want to learn more about this, you can check out the article below in the video's description and also the official blog post from Microsoft. Microsoft. Regarding the file explorer, Microsoft is stating that the changes that they've done in order to remove a handful of old settings in build 23481 is rolled back. So everything is back to normal. If you didn't like that change, well, that is rolled back for the moment, at least maybe in the near future, Microsoft will reapply this change. Starting with this build, Dev Home is now an inbox app. In a future flight, Dev Home will be found via start all apps and Windows tools. But right now you can find it inside all apps and Dev Home. If you click on it, you'll see that the app will automatically get an update and install itself. And the app will be automatically opened. As you can see, this is only a preview. But of course, this is pretty nice because a lot of people are waiting for the official Dev Home app to have a stable version. Regarding dynamic lighting and settings, new effects are now available. Inside settings, personalization and dynamic lighting, you can see wave, wheel and gradient. Unicode Emoji 15, which began rolling out with Bell 23475, is now available to all Windows Insiders in the dev channel. This is great news in my opinion. We have a lot of improvements related to the settings app. So for example, Microsoft is improving the user experience when changing time zones, including case of low confidence in location data. It displays a non-dismissible notification for accepting or rejecting the change and prompts the user for confirmation before adjusting the time zone. They are also improving the user experience while changing the time zone via settings, time and language, and date and time. If location settings are disabled, a warning is now shown to the user urging them to enable location settings to ensure accurate time zone adjustments. This warning provides helpful information to the user, helping them to understand why their time zone may not be correct and guiding them towards resolving the issue. And this is basically the notification and you can go to location settings and enable this. So this is pretty much it for this dev channel build. Now let's talk about a few fixes. We have some fixes regarding dynamic lighting. Microsoft fixed the issue where on first boot after installing recent builds and connecting a device the use dynamic lighting on my device's toggle is off in settings and device LEDs may not turn on automatically. Regarding input, Microsoft is rolling out a fix for an issue where a blank window whose title is Windows Input Experience appears after resuming the device from the sleep. Regarding network, they fixed an issue where the login screen was crashing in the last couple of flights when trying to connect to certain types of networks. Regarding the task manager, Microsoft fixed an issue causing task manager crashes for some people. They also fixed an issue where focus wasn't getting set correctly to search if the task manager window was small enough that search was collapsed to an icon, fixed alignment of task manager icon and naming the title bar, right clicking the empty space in the details pane, aka so no process is actually selected, will no longer show the option to create live kernel memory dumps, and they also fixed an issue where the live kernel memory dumps weren't being cleaned up by storage sense. So basically this is it for the latest dev channel build 23486. This is a pretty interesting build in my opinion, and I think it's pretty cool. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. This is Manu from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.